Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today, it's finally today to show you how our spa turned out. I'm so excited to show you. I wanted everything to be 100% done, but it's not, especially the exterior where I'm standing right now. But I decided to leave that for another video, so I will show you inside that door how it all turned out. It's not a huge area, but it's a piece of heaven for us and it's Japanese inspired, as you well know by now, I think, most of you. I will show you a bit of the process and then how it all turned out. So, welcome to our spa. So we are constructing our spa in our outbuildings. So we're building a room within a room. So we have put up these concrete walls, as you can see here. And I will show you how the space looked like in the beginning. So in this corner over here, we will have the sauna and the shower area and the washing machine and over here the toilet area and here the relax area and we're building a, a ceiling a roof but we still want the light to shine through so we got this second hand skylight that we will put up to let the light in when we have two windows on the side as well and now we are getting the walls done, all the piping and uh, electricity and now for the flooring, concrete base that we're going to put in and we have insulated the floor so that is done here that we got external help to do that and also the plumbing and the electricity the drywall comes up now everywhere except for that window because I will do something special with that. You have seen a video on that already. And now the inner walls are going up. And that barrier for the shower area as well. It's taking shape now. There's the toilet area in there, making progress. So apart from um, the plumbing, uh, the concrete floor and the electricity, we're doing everything ourselves, my hubby and me. So even more drywall going up now, it's almost done. Doing the ceiling here. And then it's time to put a lot of spackle up on the walls and on the ceiling as well extra careful uh, in the corners so it will all be sealed in when we put the primer on and the barrier for the shower area as well if you're new to my channel Hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, I do thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, I do some pottery and some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Here I'm putting even more spackle on the walls. In, in the corners as well. I want to create a texture. So I'm just swooshing around the spackle to get a somewhat texture to get that concrete feel to the place. My vision for this place is old Tokyo, Kyoto in Japan. You come down the old town and you go in to have a Japanese bath sort of even though we don't have the bath bit but a Japanese shower 
so that's what I'm going for here and now I'm started to paint and uh, it's a satin color and it's a grayish color to the warmer side it has warm undertones to it two coats I applied here on the walls and the same paint on the ceilings and here I'm painting the window to prepare it for the artwork I'm going to do there I will link the video for that down in my description box if you are interested to see how I did that I played with the spackle on the wall and created a little piece of art Sherry Blossom and Mount Fuji and the Japanese Sun and here I'm painting what I've just did with a gold acrylic paint now it's time for tiling and here I'm just placing out the tiles to see uh, where I need to cut them. My hubby is doing the cutting here and I am placing them out. So we're starting with the floor and then we will continue with the walls in the shower area. But this will have to dry first and we're doing the joints, the grouting and then we go on to the walls and here I'm working in the shower area putting the tiles up here are the same tiles as the flooring I will show you a little bit more in detail when I show you the final reveal what tiles we have used for the different areas We have built a lot of the furniture ourselves using these oak wood boards. So you will see a lot of uh, oak in there, concrete walls and tiling. So are you ready to see how it all turned out? Welcome to our spa. And here we are, welcome as I said, this is how it turned out. And here we have the relax area with uh, the shelving and you have uh, tea, whatever you wish to drink here. And here is one of the beautiful windows. And two chairs to relax in. I will show you a little bit more up close what I have on the shelves. Here you can see some DIYs that I have done and some things that I had on hand to decorate with the teapot I have thrifted and the greenery I bought from Amazon and the coasters, you have seen those in the video as well I will leave links to all these pieces in the description box and this piece here I just hung it up with a black belt and a wooden curtain ring and it says in Japanese love yourself and that is exactly what you should do in this place just have a moment to yourself and here in the triangle shelf I have a Buddha because that's for me that is peace quiet to tend to your body, mind and spirit. Thrifted piece here as well. And some Japanese mugs and teapots that I had already. 
some more DIYs and some tea mugs that I have made in ceramic. Here you can have some water, some tea. Look at this teapot here. This kettle, absolutely adorable. And some shelves for tea, sugar, whatever you wish to have. And when you're sitting down in the chair, this is what you see, the sauna and an orchid on top there. The Japanese lantern. And the birds that I made as well. And over here is the laundry basket, but at the moment I have uh, the tray that I made out of just a placemat and some nautical rope. And here is the sauna. A sauna for two. So it's quite small but it's sufficient for us. It's a Finnish sauna where you can splash water on hot rocks to get a humid feeling. And here is something. It looks a bit plasticky here. We will eventually cover it with a wood front with some wood boards or something. But here you can fill it up with cold ice water to have that um, contrast for the body. Ice cold water and then a hot sauna. I haven't tried it yet, but I will. And here is the shower area where you have the Japanese way to shower. I will explain in a moment. We have different tiles here. We have the ones we have on the floor and also in the niches we have uh, another tile. And some ceramic that I have made, a vase and witch hazel. You guys can't be without witch hazel, you know that. So here is the shower. I bought them from Amazon, by the way. If I can find them, I will put links in the description box. Here you can see that tile in the niche looking super cute. I think it's like a vintage uh, faded feel to it. And here we have um, everything you need for the body shampoo and body soap and what have you. I love the brass showers. And here we have some stools that I have thrifted. And here you're supposed to sit down, take your time and really wash yourself clean. Take time to be with yourself and prepare yourself for the sauna and for the ice bath. There is another ceramic piece that I have made for this space. And here we come over to the laundry room, as I call it, it's not a room, right? But it's just a little corner here where we have um, some extra things uh, with in those cupboards and down here we have the washing machine all covered up with this beautiful fabric for the feng shui feel and here I have some small washing towels that you can take with you 
when you wash yourself sitting in the shower and some essential oils as well look at that tray metal tray I thrifted that one for just a couple of euros and here I made a painting and for a reason because behind it you will see we have a maintenance hatch white metal thing there doesn't look very good doesn't fit in so let's cover that up again oak wood boards for shelves and the clock that I made as well and inside these doors we have all the extra shampoo and what have you nicely decorated on the inside as well and I love those handles look at them beautiful fits right in and the brackets as well Amazon finds both of them and here we have the toilet area uh, we were supposed to put in a door here that I made for this occasion but we decided against it because it was taking up too much space so I decided to put in a double curtain so it looks good from both sides and it's a grey velvet with some nice texture on it We have that beautiful window here as well and in this corner we can just um, change to some Japanese kimonos and in the basket down there we have some slippers as well all for that relaxed spa feeling and the towels I made a wind chime here and also the toilet paper holder I made from a scrap piece of wood and some rebar and here in the toilet area I made oh well I made over these hat boxes to fit extra toilet paper Here are thrifted pieces as well. I made this riser from a wooden bowl and uh, the top of a side table. And here is the window, how it turned out with some traditional Japanese painting on it. Japanese landscape. another flower arrangement that I have made and as I said all the things that you see here that I have DIY'd I will have links to the videos respectively in the description box and here is a thrifted mirror the frame of it was broken that I fixed and put in here And here is the beautiful sewing machine. It's not a singer, but an opal. And look at that sink with the faucet, the bamboo faucet, looking good. And some ceramic pieces here as well. The soap dish and the tiles above the sink I made myself black tiles with some golden cherry blossoms on them very subtle some beautiful details on this mirror love it 
and this is a find, a thrift find as well, found it on the Facebook marketplace. And with just some nautical rope and some jute twine, I made this uh, hanging basket for this plant. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. So here is another view from the toilet area to the shower area. Tell me what do you think of this place? Our spa as we call it. With the sauna, the ice tub. And here is my wall art. All finished with Mount Fuji, cherry blossoms and the sun. Let me know in the comments what you think of this place. Any favorite details? And this door found it on a Facebook marketplace as well. It's super old. And uh, I paid 20 euros for it. About the same in US dollars. And here we have the skylight beautiful put an LED light around it as well so it lights up in the evening looking beautiful and here you can see an up close on the tiles that we have used this is for the flooring and it's also part of the shower area but on the floor in the shower area we have a mosaic goes in the same kind of, kind of a color scheme the gray tones and here up on the walls we have the same tiles as the flooring just shifted them from standing up and uh, horizontal and here in the niches we have this vintage flower pattern on the tiles on the shower niche and also here inside this niche And here again, the grey tiles we used for the floor as well. So a last spin around the place here before we end for today and soon as I said in my intro I will show you how the exterior of this place turned out not 100% done yet but very soon in an upcoming video I will show you how I made some rustic wall sconces for the exterior of this spa If you want more inspiration straight away, just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.